Let's convert moles of O2 to molecules. So we have moles of oxygen gas, and we're going to convert that to molecules here. We have 1.1 moles. This 1.1, just a number I made up for this problem here. So it's really helpful to think when we're going from moles to molecules, what we're going to do, moles to molecules, we multiply by Avogadro's number. So kind of a mnemonic here to help you remember that. Moles to molecules, moles of O2 to molecules, we multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. If you're going the other way from molecules to moles, you just do the reverse. You divide by Avogadro's number. So let's multiply 1.1 times Avogadro's number. And note that Avogadro's number, we say that we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in one mole. This way, we multiply moles and then we divide. The moles are going to cancel out. We have those on the top and the bottom. That gives us 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of O2. So when we convert our 1.1 moles of O2, we get 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. We know we did it right because moles canceled out, left with molecules. That's what we're looking for. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.